So here we have some missing fraction, addition and subtraction problems. But we can use the same methods to work out our missing fractions as we use to work out missing numbers when they're whole numbers. So first, 3 fifths plus something equals 9 tenths. Well, whenever we have a missing number or a missing fraction in an addition problem, we always use subtraction to find our missing number. So we need to work out 9 tenths minus 3 fifths and that will give us our missing fraction. But to subtract fractions, we need the denominators to be the same. Now 10 is in the 5 times table, so we can find an equivalent fraction to 3 fifths, which has a denominator of 10. So we can rewrite our question. The 9 tenth stays the same, but instead of subtracting 3 fifths, we can subtract 6 tenths. That's equivalent to 3 fifths, because 5 times 2 is 10, and 3 times 2 is 6. So now, the fractions have the same denominator, so the denominator stays the same in our answer, and 9 minus 6 is 3, so our missing fraction is 3 tenths. Now, 3 quarters minus what equals 1 eighth? So here, it's the second number of the subtraction, or the subtrahend, that's missing. And when we have a missing subtrahend, when it's the second number that's missing, we still use subtraction to find our missing number. So we need to work out 3 quarters minus 1 eighth to find our missing number. Again, to subtract fractions, we need the denominators to be the same. Now 8 is in the 4 times table, so we can find an equivalent fraction to 3 quarters, which has a denominator of 8. That's 6 eighths, because we use multiplication to find equivalent fractions. 4 times 2 is 8, and 3 times 2 is 6. So now, when we subtract the 1 eighth, the denominator stays the same, and 6 minus 1 is 5. So our missing fraction here is 5 eighths. Now, something minus 2 ninths equals 2 thirds. So here, it's the first number in the subtraction problem that's missing, so we have a missing menu end. And here, we need to use addition to find our missing number, because remember, subtraction problems can be read backwards as addition problems. So, if we work out 2 thirds plus 2 ninths, that will give us our missing number. Again, we need the denominators to be the same, so instead of 2 thirds, we can have 6 ninths. That's equivalent because 3 times 3 is 9, and 2 times 3 is 6. So now we can add 2 ninths, the denominator stays the same, and 6 plus 2 is 8. So our missing fraction is 8 ninths. Now let's see what we did here. So for this first question, we started with 3 fifths, and we knew that something had been added to make 9 tenths. To work out what had been added, we changed those 3 fifths to 6 tenths, and when we subtract 6 tenths from 9 tenths, we get 3 tenths. Then, for this middle question, we had 3 quarters, and we knew that something had been subtracted to make 1 eighth. 3 quarters is the same as 6 eighths, so we can see that 5 eighths must have been subtracted to leave just 1 eighth. Then we knew that 2 ninths had been subtracted to leave 2 thirds. But because 2 thirds is the same as 6 ninths, we can add that to 2 ninths to get 8 ninths altogether. So that was our missing menu end.